Hey guys, welcome back to my Sims 4 Legacy Challenge. If you guys watched the last episode, then you know what happens, uh, because I don't remember. It has been a couple of weeks since I last played Sims, and I so do not remember what happened in the Legacy Challenge. Um, I don't think anything really exciting happened. I think we just took some more photos for our photo wall, and we went to work with Dion. Nothing super exciting that I can really remember, but, um... Hopefully this episode is more exciting. Um, all I've noticed since I started up the game is the thing in the corner is shining at me. Uh, this is where it shows you all of the Sims expansions and stuff that there is. So if we just look at this, um, oh, it's shining because the Sims Spooky Stuff stuff pack has been released. Um, honestly, do not know if I'm going to get it. I haven't seen anything in it that looks like so fantastic that I have to get it. Although, you know, the Sims fan of me says I should get it anyway because, you know, Sims, like, am I the only one that feels like they have to have every stuff pack and every expansion pack? Because, I mean, I want to. I mean, as you guys can see, I only have the outdoor retreat game pack, the um, perfect patio stuff, and the get to work expansion pack, and then the holiday pack, but the holiday pack was free. Um, I do not have luxury party stuff, I don't have spa day um, game pack, I don't have cool kitchen stuff, and I don't have spooky stuff, and I haven't pre-ordered The Sims for a get together, although I really should pre-order that because I really want it. Um, and yeah, so there's still some Sims uh, expansions that I have to get, and I don't know if I'll get them. Um, but if I do, you guys will be the first to know because I'll be playing with them and showing you guys the content. Uh, anyway, uh, on to the actual legacy challenge. So, don't really remember where everyone is, what we were doing the last day. I do remember I still have to buy a light for over here. Um, and we almost couldn't pay our bills. That's what happened in the last legacy challenge episode. We almost couldn't pay our bills. So there was that. Um, press play, the kids are sleeping, Dion is taking a shower, um, our TV is broken, um, we have some dirty dishes over here, we still need to buy a light, like, our house is not doing great right now, um, plus, Dion's dying, uh, which I keep mentioning in every Legacy Challenge episode, but, like, I can't help but let you guys know, like, he's coming to his end of time and we're gonna have to say goodbye to him at some point, so, yeah, I don't know what to do when that happens because I'm not prepared, um, there's a little puddle in the bathroom that we need to mop up, I think. Someone is awake. Heaven is awake. She needs to pee. Um, great. Fabulous. Heaven could probably make some food. Um, make some scrambled eggs for your family. Everyone else is sleeping, although they'll be awake soon because they have their own needs to deal with. Um, okay, so Josh is awake. Josh is the artistic prodigy because, you know, I haven't played in a long time so of course I forget which one's Josh and which one's Connor because I always forget which one's Josh and which one's Connor because I am a great sim player. Um, I'm going to take a shower while we wait for breakfast to be made by Heaven. Um, he also can draw a picture on the table and he's already drawn one over there but we'll clean that up so he can make a new one. Hmm. Ooh, Phoebe's also awake right now. She needs to write two books. Um, she can also use the bathroom and take a shower because, you know, that's what people do in the mornings. They get up, they take a bath, they shower. Um, hey Josh, you can grab some breakfast right now. Heaven reached cooking level 9. Go Heaven. Is Connor getting up anytime soon? Yeah, Connor can get up now. He can... You can come get breakfast too. Um, okay, Sims are up. Sims are doing things. Exciting. What is this? Oh, he even has a sore back from sleeping on a cheap bed. We gotta fix that at some point. You know, when we have money, which we never will. Because, let's face it, we poor AF. Um, okay, even. You didn't finish eating your breakfast. I think you should do that. Dion, get up and go to the bathroom because you really need to go to the bathroom. Um, and then I guess come have breakfast with your family. 
also fix the TV, but like, you know, do do your needs things first. And then repair the bath or repair repair the television. I cannot speak right now. Uh Heaven has done that. She needs to have a child get married, which we can't do because none of our children are eligible to get married right now. Um she should trim the overgrowth of her bonsai tree and Phoebe should probably talk to someone. She's um lacking the social skills, so we just we'll just get her to talk to Josh. What is this treat? Oh, because it's Halloween? Right, right. Um my sim game updated before I um before I played it today, so I don't know what the update includes, but I guess it includes Halloween stuff. So there's that. Um Ooh, we just became good friends with Phoebe. Hallelujah. Um, okay. Socializing, socializing. Dion is just sitting there. Dion could join in the conversation too. Like, this isn't just an exclude Dion type of thing. Um, lecture about misbehavior. He has not been misbehaving. Okay, he even. Then our bonds are trait. She can repair the TV. Um, she has some upgrade parts in here too. Again, the herbalism skill thing. Right. Oh, we also need a light for the bathroom. Just realized it looks kind of dark in there. Uh, so we need to buy two lights with only 198 simoleons. So that's not going to happen. Um, I'm going to breakfast. Phoebe, we're doing good with things. Um, she has spoiled yogurt parfait in her pockets. Why does she have that? Can we put this somewhere? No, we can't because there's a glitch and it's not letting me. Um, okay. Yeah, there's some glitch going on over here. You guys can see that. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, Phoebe, go jogging. Um, even, we need something else for even to do. Even paint a picture. Go paint. She's feeling uncomfortable. She pinched her finger. Connor needs to pee. Josh can go draw a picture now. Um, I don't know which ones he's drawn and which ones he hasn't, so I'm just gonna pick one of these randomly. And uh, Dion is dancing. Dion... I don't know Dion. Scavenge this for parts, actually. Um, okay, Connor. Up, you can take a shower. Maybe then you could talk to Dion. Um, so as you guys can see, there's a little bit of a glitch with this book thing. Uh, don't really know what to do about that. Phoebe's jogging. But you know what, we're just going to ignore it because, you know, I think that's all we can do. Uh, it's not really that big a deal, but, you know, it's annoying. Okay, speed up. Okay, Phoebe's back from jogging. Um... She can come and clean up this mess over here, and then she can go and she can write her book. Or not write a book, because she has... we haven't said her to write another book. Okay. Well, write your next book, girl. Write another children's book. Get on that shit. You know why? Because we're poor and we need you to sell your work to the publisher and get money, because, you know, we need it. Oh, you haven't reached... Um... Painting level 4, we have to name this book, what are we going to call it? I don't know. <sighs> the struggle, okay. Uh, I don't want to call it Goodnight Light, because I feel like that's not a good name for a book. I don't know. What are children's books called? Oh, The Hungry Caterpillar. Totally just came into my head. If you guys didn't read The Hungry Caterpillar when you were a child, then what was your childhood? Because it was like the best book ever. Okay, anyway. That's what Phoebe's book's gonna be called, and it's gonna be the best time book that ever existed. Um, Phoebe reached painting, or writing level 3, uh, so yay her. Even can sell her painting, cause you know, that's what we do. Craft a garden pot. We don't have a thing to do that, so no. Um, work in two days, Even's fine with that. Uh, I guess she can paint some more. Um, Dion and Connor are still talking. 
<laughs> mm. <laughs> Neon's watching TV. Connor, you can make friends with people. Yeah, um, is there... Well, we got school on ours, so we can't really talk to anyone, but... Like, I just want to see if anyone's around so that we can talk to them and make friends with them. Who's this guy? Oh my god, can we be friends with him? He's looking pretty swag. Like, look at this. So swag. What is he wearing? I've never seen that outfit before. Ooh. Okay. Well, I want to be friends with him because he has a swaggy outfit. So, let's go. Stop talking to Dion. Go, Connor. Okay, these two are working. Connor's still not talking to that dude who I asked him to talk to. Dion, stop talking to him so he can do that. Josh, you finished? Okay, clean that up. And then draw something else. Dude, you can't just go. No, don't leave us. Don't leave us. Great, great. Just leave. Come to us. Talk to us. Let us be your friend. Yeah, you just stand there because Connor's going to come for you now. Sounds so threatening. He just wants to be your friend. Um, speed up. Walk faster, Connor. Gosh. Okay, so we, we just... We're meeting this guy. Trick? Let's not trick him. We just met him. We want to be his friend. Um, click a bunch of things. I kind of want to trick him, though. Like, Dion's work starts in an R. Great. Hmm. Okay. So Connor's talking to this guy. Dion starts working about an R. Don't really know what to do about that. His lifetime aspiration is seriously lacking. Uh, he wants to achieve level 5 in 5 skills. He's only achieved level 5 in 3 skills. And he wants to reach level 3 in 2 careers. Crap. Um, we only have one career. Connor is embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed, Connor. Don't be embarrassed. I was just wondering, Connor just disappeared off the face of the earth. He went to school. Okay. That explains a lot. Phoebe, you can go to school, girl. I'm not gonna hold you. That's a pretty painting, Haven. But we gotta sell it. Saws. Okay, so... Haven just made another painting. It was fabulous. She can paint another one. Cause you know what? We're gonna paint all day. Are you happy, Nathan? I'm taking your advice. Um... Way back in like the first episode of the Legacy Challenge, Nathan commented on my video saying that to earn money you should have a sim be a painter. I just paint all the time because when you sell the paintings you get money. And uh, well, looks like I'm finally taking your advice. Um, go to work alone, Dion. Really had to do it, man, but like, you know. Um, this Legacy Challenge is not about you. So, saws. Um, okay, you have been painting. Fun, Dion's off to work. We're just painting, having a good time. Class interview. Josh is the class all-star today, and he gets to be interviewed by his entire class. He's feeling nervous and kind of excited until someone asks, How come you always get A's? Should he try for something witty or just be real like the teacher said? Well, this is Josh we're talking about, so I think he'd be witty. Josh tries to make a joke out of something uh, about alphabets, and there's nothing before the A, but when every kid stays silent, he asks for silence too. One question down, only 22 to go. This is going to be the longest class ever. I'm sorry, Josh. Oh my god, no, no, no. Are you si This is happening? Guys, did you hear the music? Dion is about to pass away, and I'm not prepared. What? No. Dion Fulton has lived a long life, but his time has finally come. He is dying of old age. What? No. Are you serious? This is happening in this episode of the Legacy Challenge? I was not prepared. I'm freaking out. Guys, what? Are, we, we've been talking about this for about five episodes or something, and it's finally happening, and I'm, like, not coping. I swear to God, he only became an elder like two episodes ago or something. This is ridiculous. This is happening right now. Are you serious right now? I can't even deal. I just, I, I can't, and I don't even want to press play because it's like I know what's going to happen. Um, are you guys ready for this? Are you ready to witness this? Because I'm not. Um, okay, let's, okay, let's do it. 
we're gonna do this. This is our first death in the legacy challenge. I wasn't prepared for this. I didn't ever think we'd get this far. Um, at least it's of old age and it was natural and not like he died because he got electrocuted or something. I don't know. Um, here we go. We gotta do this. Okay. It's happening. It's happening. Just dramatically lays down like that. Sadness! Hashtag R.I.P. Dion. <gasps> oh. Here comes the Grim Reaper. Checking him off his iPad. That girl casually walking by. Oh no, she's getting sad. Of course she's getting sad. Someone's died. Gosh. Oh, but that woman, that woman don't give no fucks. That woman's about to leave. Oh my god, Haven's outside. Everyone's just like walking past. This is so bad just to die in the middle of your street like that. With everyone around you like shit. Oh my god. Oh no. I can't deal. Like, I'm like laughing, but I'm actually really sad. Like, I, I don't know. Um... This happened. This just happened. Look at the icon at the bottom. Heaven's very sad. Of course, Heaven's very sad. Her husband just died. <gasps> He's not even going to get to see his kids get married. <gasps> it's so tragic. This is so tragic. Guys, I can't, I can't even deal. I can't. Oh my god. Okay. We have to continue. We have to be strong. At least all of the kids are not here because I feel like if the kids were here, it would be a lot worse. They'd also be sad. It would just be a devastation, and it already is. Um, okay. Plead for Dion. Heaven, plead for Dion. We're gonna make a deal with the Grim Reaper. Hey, Don Lothario, making your key appearance in every Legacy Challenge episode. I don't think he was in the last one, but still. Okay. You know, Heaven, I know you're upset, but can you not witness the death? Can we plead to the Grim Reaper? We need to plead to the Grim Reaper. We need to save your husband's life. That... That is, like, such a thumbnail. I mean, I, I can't even deal. Okay. Um... Woo. If only this reeling wasn't in the way. The reeling ruins it. The reeling really ruins it. Um... And you can't even get rid of the reeling. Like, it doesn't go down any further. This is tragic. Um, I don't know what way to take this thumbnail. I guess we just do it with the reeling in the way. That's so annoying. Um, okay. Thumbnail. Fabulous. Okay, sorry about that. Um, back to business. The unfortunate is truly gone... After Heaven's ardent appeal fell upon Death's ears. Damn it, Death. You're so mean. How dare you not, like, let us have Dion's life back. Heartless. That's what y'all are. Heartless. Um. This is really awkward. It's like such a long process. Doesn't have to Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Yep. Thanks. That was just... I mean... Shit. Look at this. Look at this. This is what we have. Where am I gonna put that? See, that's in the middle of the footpath, so I don't know if we can move that. And I don't want to put it in our inventory, because in my other save game, uh, I had a gravestone. And I put it in the household inventory while I was, like, remodeling the house. And then when I took it out of the household inventory and put it back where I wanted it to be, um, it no longer saved the name of the sim that died. And it just said R.I.P. And I don't want that. I kind of want them to, like, remember the sim. So that's annoying. Um don't really know what to do about that. I, I don't want to leave it, like, in the middle of the path, but, like, yeah. I don't know. Oh, my God. Is he on a ghost? Can we play as him? I just noticed it's on here. It didn't disappear. 
What's the deal with that? Is he still here? Is he a ghost? Like, what? Like, what's the deal? I mean, release spirit to netherworld seems like a good idea. But, I mean, you know, maybe not. Hey, that's also the Grim Reaper and I. That sounds so random, but, you know, can we not talk to him? Can we not chat? Nope. He's gone. He's gone. Did you see that? He, he's just gone. He's gone. He left us this D on here. This was so unexpected and so tragic and so many things. I just, I went through so many things in that moment and like, you no, know, I was just like, oh my god. What do we do, guys? What do we do? I mean, I don't know. I feel like we can continue this Legacy Challenge episode. It's just kind of sad now. It's like, <gasps> what do we do? Um, Heaven is feeling like a widow. And she's also mourning. I feel for her, girl. You know, this is the worst timing. Like, it's so unprepared. Um, yet you still gotta do the chores and eat and everything. Because, you know, you're a mother first. Um... So yeah, just gotta keep you occupied. I know you're sad, girl, but it'll get better. Um, the one thing I've noticed is if a sim dies, only the sims on the lot will feel sad. The like other household sims that are not on the lot when your sim dies don't feel sad, which is kind of heartless when you think about it because all the sims are family and they're not sad that their dad died, like, guys, that's messed up. Um, but yeah, they were at school, which I guess is a good thing, kind of saves them from the sadness. Um, but yeah, that happened. Wow. I feel like it just changed the tone entirely of this let's play. I don't even know how to continue. I guess we just try. Um. Oh, oh. Kids are back from school. We cannot play as Dion anymore. It happened. Okay. Okay, so Phoebe's having no fun at all, which makes sense whenever, you know, your dad dies. I don't know. Josh, eat some food. Um, Connor, talking to someone. Okay. Yes, yeah, you can go talk to them. The Samba. No, he's doing his homework. You know, you don't have to do your homework right away, dude. You can come, you can have some food, you know. Josh, I feel like you need to talk to your mom. Give her some good news. Just cheer her up because, you know, it's been a rough day. Um, Josh has reached social level 5. Good for him. Um... Okay, Phoebe's feeling better, she can use the bathroom, she can do her homework, she can go to sleep, and then Connor's getting some food, which is good, and then he needs to have his fun so he can watch, watch some TV. Phoebe can stop watching TV, maybe? Yeah, that would be great. She's still feeling refreshed from camping. Guys, camping was forever ago. Why are you solving those midlets? Connor, your needs are dropping like cray. Definitely feel like the tone of this let's play is seriously lowered down after that happened. Um, I don't really know how to pick it up. It's kind of just is what it is. Um, Josh, go to sleep in your own bed. Okay, what was that noise about? What happened? I don't know what happened. That noise was for nothing, okay.
Okay, so we have some money now, and so I feel like it's finally time that we buy them some more lights. Um, okay. Let there be lights in the kitchen, and also in the bathroom. Hallelujah. Okay. Place is fully lit. Nothing to worry about there anymore. Even we could probably grab some food, and then go also watch TV. Phoebe, take a shower after she eats. Yeah. Oh, this is so bright, they're lit now. Can go for a jog and then she can also. Yeah, no. She's feeling inspired. So she can practice writing. Because that's what you do when you're feeling inspired. Josh is going to the bathroom. He needs to finish eating his salad. I feel like my Sims aren't listening to anything I do anymore. Ooh. Uh, I pinned an aspiration for Josh that was to be friendly with Dion. Awkward, since he's not really around anymore. Um, okay, so Phoebe's writing. Phoebe's watching TV with her family. She kind of needs to pee, so go pee. That would be good. She finished her salad. She still kind of needs to eat. Um, she needs to pant to panting. She can pant to panting. Just get the feelings all like, girl. Okay. Josh, going to the bathroom. Josh, take a shower. Even pant baby school. Everyone's school. Okay, Connor. Dylan. Watching TV. Pretty mundane if you ask me. Okay, our shower is broken. Not a surprise, not a surprise. Um, let me clean that up. Okay, Josh. This is not a time to break down. Away that start a new drawing of an animal and Connor needs to pee, so if Connor could do that, that'd be great. Um, then I suppose we've got to go to school. Maybe also needs to go to school, and so does Josh. So, Josh, stop drawing your picture and go to school. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this painting that he even just drew. Look at that sad face. Oh my gosh. It's kind of adorable. Oh my god, what is she? She's mourning. Okay. I thought she was talking to the ghost. Which would have been kind of weird. Um. But yeah. She's just mourning. Oh girl. I feel you. I really feel for you. Um. But you gotta fix the shower. Saws. Oh, our stereo also just broke. Fabulous. As if anything else needs to go wrong right now. Like, this is really just running the class. The teacher has to step out for a second to talk to a parent. She asks Phoebe to run the class for a little while. Should Phoebe keep following the lesson plan the teacher laid out, or do something fun and easy with her classmates? Girl, you gotta follow the plan. Even though this wasn't Phoebe's idea, her classmates are angry about having her in charge. They refuse to participate or behave. And eventually, Phoebe has to call the principal for help. Fabulous. See? I feel like nothing's going our way this episode. Kind of just... Everything bad just kind of happened. And so, yeah. So, um... I actually think I'm going to leave this Legacy Challenge episode here. Um... I just kind of feel like the whole um, Sim passing away thing kind of just lowered the tone of this Legacy Challenge episode. It kind of threw me off guard. I'm kind of upset, not going to lie. Um, and yeah, uh, sorry if this episode is a little bit shorter than the others. I hope that you guys understand. You know, it's been, what, like 
13 episodes of the Legacy Challenge so far, and, uh, you know, we came this far with Dion, and, um, no, he's gone, and, uh, yeah, it just, it kind of made me feel sad, I'm not gonna lie, I've, I've become attached to The Sims, I didn't really want it to happen, and then it did, um, and that kind of sucks, so, um, yeah, um, I hope that you guys still enjoyed the video anyway. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And let me know in the comments below what you do when your sim dies. Like, are you the type of person that purposely kills off your sims? Or do you let them die naturally by their own causes or what? Let me know that in the comments below. And what you guys do with their tombstones. Because, you know, if you play a sims game long enough, those are bound to pile up. So, just kind of want to know. Um... And yeah, so uh, I guess that's it, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Stand there and take a photo of Josh. Because this will be the one that we had of Josh for a photo wall, because then I'll be able to tell who Josh is and Connor is, because we'll get a photo of Connor doing something else.